What's up guys, this is the Brofoman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the 13 colonies. So to run off where we left off, we have invaded the island of Cuba and we are going to relieve the Spanish of their territories um, in the Caribbean. But of course what we have to do is to make this island ours, we have to finish off this last uh, Spanish army. So let's fight. Spain is going to be my continual target. I want to try and make... Mm. Ultimately I like to make um, Spain my overall... not my overall... because it means I can... I've got, not, I've got a reason to push into Europe because they own lots of decent European territories. But of course one of the best things I can do is weaken their hand in Europe... in um, the Americas. Build a decent, decent wing on the left. Um, decent well, a wing on the right. Some troops in reserve. They're not much of a reserve. Cavalry in the back. General ready. The idea is to pound them a little bit, particularly because we have the artillery advantage. It will actually. We're probably better off advancing in this case. I'm relying on the terrain to prevent my um, to prevent my artillery from doing too much friendly fire damage. So let's target the guns against them against these militia units let's speed up time actually because right now we're moving into position the artillery is raining down oh looks like they're coming after us that is fair enough our troops are going to be in position to run these last few. Terrible shame, militiamen. You are just going to get shot to bits. There we go. Mission lines engaged. Fire by rank is on the go. Get our cavalry and our general really mobile. So I'm to send my cavalry to go chase down those units. Halt fire with my artillery because it's about to kill my own dudes. Snipe their general. Yeah, this unit's returned from the route. I'd like to think my regiment of horse should be able to chase down this one. Or even better, my general. So I don't really normally have light infantry in my battle line, but I'm interested to try it because it provides that we can intercept their infantry. We can intercept their infantry before they have a chance to get within range. Charge in. And my general, may as well bunch them all together. These are just militia at the end of the day, so. Run up the hill. Take the high ground. It's over, Spain. Okay, let's just get my cavalry, regular cavalry moving. My general can continue to chop up these militiamen. Let's 
send them in. Just try hitting the general. They can continue to shoot hot shots at the general because they're not in combat. Send the marines to capture the artillery position. Yes, I'm not going to chase them down completely. Speed up time a little bit. Mainly focus on getting some kills for my general because I don't want to mess around with this this line. Hey. Oh no, that's the end of them. Cool, they've routed. Nice quick victory. Um, but I do want to start to create my Army of Europe. Victory! Yeah. Good. Then let's replenish whoever we can. Okay, that was strange. The screen just went black, but it wasn't crashed to desktop, and my recording is still going. Okay, you're being rebuilt. Everyone's still pretty strong. Um, Want to try sucker the French into attacking at us? Because once we have these territories, I'd be inclined to try get peace with the French, especially after the the Newfoundland debacle. They can, they can have it. I don't want to spend that much effort in trying to stop them. Oh yes, and you are waiting on reinforcements, I believe. Which you cannot have. Your but you shall wait in their land. If they want to seek battle, then you will probably retreat, but still. So we just research and tech. Keep going with the naval techs. It seems okay. And let's hit enter. So good old Britain's on the move. Uh oh, that's not good. So there is a roaming r French stack. Which I'm not sure where it's come from, but it could have come from Newfoundland, so maybe Newfoundland's now open. Biz peace with Spain. Oh, okay, I thought I could try and off get. Um, I demand improved grenades. Uh, counter offer. No. So. Oh God! Why? Oh no! This has all gone wrong. I planned to make peace with Spain, so then I'd ha I could target Paris. <laughs> but the Brits have ca Brits have captured it in the end. They were sieging it, but I didn't think they'd win. Oh wow. I think I'm about to just immediately declare war on Spain again. I mean, it's the only real thing I can do. Sorry, Spain. Well, maybe I might use this as a bit of breathing space to rebuild my army and then land it off the coast of Morocco, I suppose. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Yes, here's Select the French the army. To construct here. A fishing port will help your population grow. Okay, you're okay. Rebuild. You're in military governor's barracks. So let's get two artillery units. Could probably do some decent cavalry. But I'm unlikely to find that. So let's build some roads in both of my towns. Cool. So 
for Cuba should be starting to really chill. Well, to be honest, I need to keep upgrading. Well, they're being built. One turn, one turn. Yeah, I need to upgrade this port because it's not exporting enough goods. That's concerning, but I hope they will spend their time blockading my port rather than actually attacking me. Let's go back to the city to get some kind of garrison in case they try and attack us. Peace with Spain, temporarily. Although it's now intriguing that we've got Britain as a major ally and he's, in, he's on the continent, but maybe Spain might go for, go for Paris. Goddamn Spanish missionaries. I don't have enough rakes to actually try and snipe them. Sweden, Louisiana. Oh, they're raiding against the Cherokee. There goes the Iroquois. Oh, go on, kill him. I'd be okay with them, with them taking vent, taking the, um, the Louisiana territory. I'll just pull that army back and I'll use it to, some, to do something more, more interesting. I think. Right now, right now. Seen to, I can't believe Britain took Paris. <laughs> Don't see that at all. Okay, pirates are going to be pirates. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. I'm not going to develop it either. Yet. Let's just get the cannons to go start to join Andrew Hamilton. Let's get a buccaneer unit to help garrison the port. In fact, that's where they'll go for now. Okay, so lots of... All of my plantations can be upgraded, more or less. Let's make sure I've got all my plantations actually built for a start. Let's probably build this port as well. Average yield, meg yield, meg yield, high, abundant, abundant. Okay, so I can build my high sugar plantation, at least. One more turn and then we'll be ready to pick some more technologies. Lots of farm upgrades. Good. This one navy is slowly growing. Yeah, still managing to convert Montreal. I just can't overpower two really good priests. Well, we're still at war with New Spain. I'm still at war with New Spain. Hmm. Interesting potential. That, and who's Spain allied with? Venice. Well, no one of real consequence. Let's get trade with... Yes, go on then, I'll give you Flintlock Cannon. Good. More trade goods. 15 grand. That's good. We can certainly find lots and lots of good ways to spend that cash. Because right now, yep, yeah, right now we've, we're sort of like a an extremely dry plant pot. We have much more cash than our than our armies can actually than our well. Well, sorry, I've got it the wrong way around. We have a in, industrial and economic system that can just soak up as much cash as we're willing to throw at it. Right now, uh, if we're making 20 grand, 25 grand, piece of Louisiana, no. Oh, okay, Louisiana, st okay, I might f move my army south, because that's, I'll decline to support your attack. Any further orders? Because I knew it wasn't necessary. I'll move my army south to go and liberate the territory near the Cherokee. And I won't give it back. If if territories are willing to kind of fall my way in such a fashion, a I'm more than happy to take them off their hands. Oh, that's up there, I didn't worry about that. 
So now Croft, you immediately beeline south towards Teleco, although I suspect that the Cherokee will probably take care of that because they also have low Louisiana. Okay. Ah, so you've had some some people must have been intercepted. Or some trade must have been intercepted. Okay, farms. Lots of farm upgrades. So let's do farm upgrades because they're cheap. They're cheap and they're pretty good. Like they're very they're very fundamental, they're very low level, but they're just I don't know, in my head it feels like they're a very good thing to, to upgrade because the upgrades are just constant. That constant growth is really nice. Got three thousand. You're exporting all your goods, and you could ex you could grow faster if I upgrade your port. But I think, oh yeah, some more farms. So, is there anything, is there anything I can upgrade with my measly two thousand pounds? Santo Domingo, here have a government council or. No, Cuba is my, my seat of military power in the Mediterranean. At the ready. Waiting for your order. Immediately. Forward. You got recruiting buccaneers next turn. You'll get roads next turn. Okay, don't waste your time with carbines. Instead go for square. Hartford go for Probably social contract to help maintain my pace of research. You know recruited is the artillery in Cuba. He is going over to Andrew Hamilton. 13 grand next turn. Ministers are all pretty dependent. Dependable. Sorry, not dependent. I need to build a naval college. No, not naval college. Well, the next level up from Admiral Admiralty, because right now I've got I've hit the hard limit on my economics research. It looks like some territories are changing hands. I think Poland has expanded into Austria. I think Poland's taken Hungary. Which would be brilliant if they have, because Poland usually gets destroyed immediately. So I think it's really cool that they've managed to survive. Not that the Cherokee, it's not that the Cherokee territories are super valuable that I want to keep hold of it, but it's an opportunity opportunity to have a new city that will build. It'll have some towns, have some mines. It'll be able to help us economically. Pirates still being pirates. There is unused land suitable for Rick. plantations in this region. Building plantations here will increase. Your first task. Alistair Newport, take out that missionary. Next turn, port blockaded, port to pay. Yeah, I don't think I don't think it's possible to actually make peace with the pirates. Yeah, they're not even represented as a <laughs> as a nation you can actually do business with. Build the next level. Eh, I'm probably better off building infantry to push on to take the last French territory. Go to your roads in Cuba and Havana. Let's upgrade. Ooh, tobacco warehouse. Expensive, but it produces another 80 barrels, and that's not to be sniffed at on the international markets. I'm trading lots of resources. Good. Nullcroft, you keep steamboating your way in. Savannah's earning zero. Oh, damn, I meant to build. Oh, I am building it. Good. Any further orders? 
Good, so that army's ready to be deployed somewhere. Oh, good. I, I, I say, oh, good. Is that good? I don't know. But let's fight it. I don't think it is good. I think we're going to get smashed. We get smashed, the army in Cuba, that's where they're going to go. They're going to get on there and tear out of the French military power in the region. So I suspect this isn't going to go super well. Um, but I'll, it should be fun. We'll have... Ooh, I'm in a town. Boy. So the problem isn't the. Okay, the problem isn't the. the isn't the. Um, it's not the cavalry. I'll keep my skirmishes in here to provide a constant withering fire. My artillery probably needs to go over here. Probably means one weak unit here. One will go to deploy on the outside. You can have trenches. Probably put f civilians on the outside as well. Which honestly might do well actually, like in here. But they can't deploy barricades, so that I don't want them to be in the centre. So you're deployed. Okay, so for one here. And have you here? Because this building can't be garrisoned, unfortunately. I need to put an infantry unit out here to back up this unit when it can deploy. Um, I should put them there. They'll fire at will at whoever they can. And you probably come over on this flank as well. And that leaves me with my pikes, who will just get thrown into the melee as and when. Another colonial light, you can come out on this right flank. Both my cavalry can stay on the right. General in the centre. Let's deploy. So my cavalry has to help smash this flank. Because that's a lot of militia. Speed up time a little bit. If they want to waste their time deploying and redeploying, that's good. Because I'll spend my time going after their general. Ah, they've spotted my tricks. <laughs> to be honest, actually, I might move both my pikes up on this hill, and they might just hit one flank with melee, just, just try roll them on from one to another to another to another to another. Don't bother about hitting them. Just move up my cavalry to try ambush the bodyguard.
silly, friendly... F I actually didn't kill any of my guys. They're either brilliant or they're terrible. Okay, if I can kill this general with my cavalry quickly... Run my pikes into the middle. Into the bulk of their... Into the bulk of their forces. Where they can engage as many... As many militia as they can. <laughs> Same with you guys. Charge on. Charge straight into this... Big heap of militia. So it's God, we're actually losing loads of pikes. They're winning. Oh God. If I charge my cavalry down into the hill to knock out this cavalry, this militia unit. Get my militia involved into this cavalry fight. Cast a shot. Get involved in this, we need to help clear out the... Nope, hit them so they don't hit our guys in the rear. Good, they're actually getting shot in the rear from their own... Okay, you hit them. over here. So this fight over here. Yeah, wavering. Good routes, that's what we want to see. Ideally, you can make. Charge my pikes on. Charge you up into here. Hopefully, pull one of these cavalry units out. Artillery round shot against the Hessian line. Get them to chase down the cl this colonial militia to make sure they don't come back. Canist shot these nearby bad guys. Okay, right. You've got to, you've got to avoid though. They're shattered now. So go around the flank. Hit the native auxiliary. You spin your ass back around and get involved against this unit of militia here.
the routes here to get one of them. Recovery won't win against the bow on auxiliary, but at least we can. If we can just keep snowballing. Snowballing these routing troops. So the weaker. To be honest, you both go up and go both go up against the native Bowman Auxiliary. Bring these guys up here to form a decent line. Let's bring up my general's bodyguard. Get my general into the back of the bowmen. They too are wavering. Can okay, you both engulf that colonial militia? Risk my general. goes down into the Buccaneers. Oh, go on, break him. Great stuff. Charge straight on. Retarget my canister shot. Shattered, shattered, shattered. Okay, let's get my general back. Charge, may as well just charge them straight on into the hesh, into the regiment of foot. May as well just keep going with them until they're until they're spent. Send them along, attacking as many as many men as can be found. Cavalry men go after that unit of militia. Fire by rank is just a you're just a you're just a firepower machine. Of course they're shaking. Of course they're wavering. Yeah, it's understandable. But those pikemen have done an outstanding job. Oh wow, I forgot about whole colonial line unit. Go on, kill the 8th Regiment of Foot. So they've been shot in the back by their own militia, which is nice. Yep, they left their uh, general a bit exposed on the right flank. I go after this unit of militia, open up the distance, and they're still probably going to shoot their unit of line infantry. But at that point, things have been equaled up quite a lot.
100 pikes versus 200 militia. And my pike's going to be shot in the back. One shot and go after them. Yep, they're wavering, so are they. Okay, let's get our pikes back. Because now, I think my pikes have done a supreme job on this flank. All these bodies. Let's keep them back. Where are they? Native bowmen. Damn. General... You shoot the native bows. Bring my militia back into line. To be honest, put my that unit of infantry there. So put my my light infantry over there. Deploy my cavalry. Uh, some of them are coming back. general back out if at all possible see they just oh, see they've just got uh, it was silly to attack but they just get like sucked into combat like even though I've given them an order to get out of the way they still don't at least it's not my good general To be honest, you guys are dead now, so you may as well just keep shooting. Let's move the flank up. Good, stop cannon can shotting the remnants. So we lost our general. But we have kept our territory. Colonials are still engaging. Good. Shots on the Hessian line. Let's retarget my artillery. Fire! Oh, good. The bows are coming into range. Instead, focus your cast to fire on the bows. Although, it looks like 
So they're doing one last charge. Ah, this unit of bows has come back. But they'll be engaged by various units. Falling back. Hit the bear. Hit, hit the cavalryman, the artilleryman. Yeah, you guys are now engaging. You would in one on one they do a lot of damage to a light infantry unit, but my light infantry will keep picking away at them. Let's charge them from a couple of angles. It's just a militia unit. So they will not stand. Colonial line of foot, you run out of ammo. As have you. You chaps haven't yet. So you go there ready to engage the square. Fine, deploying a silly block because of this ridge. That's my is that my artillery? No, it is my it is my infantry. But at least we managed to narrow down their options to engage us right to the end of the battle. Just goes to show massed firepower. Massed firepower and let's get my gunners back. Turn the firewall off. It looks like that's a full retreat. Significant damage done to the enemy forces. Setting the battle there. Damn right that's a heroic victory. That's a great victory. A great sacrifice I am willing to make. Good. Yep, we lost 1,200 men. So we're on parity now. When it was originally a mass, it was round number 2 to 1. Royal Seychelles and Silas Talbot. Heroically fell. So we must spend our effort. We must spend money to get troops down to that territory. To try to give them some respite. Then we'll go and have a look at what's going on in Europe. Because yeah, right now it is... Well, well, Prussia looks like it's actually going to beat... Not Prussia. Poland looks like it's going to beat Prussia. They've taken Königsberg. Uh, yes. Tech for a tech plus money. Sounds like a good deal. Peace? No. Looks like... Is that a, re a rebel... Territory did Louisiana rebel and become pirates. If they did, that would be interesting. And Louisiana would be a target because Louisiana is quite a quite a nice little region to own. Don't oh, pick on the pirates. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct. Again, new general. Gabriel Zenga. Grow. A trade port will provide an ink. Quite a loop, I know. You want stuff. Okay, can't recruit any more infantry there. Okay, don't worry about upgrading them yet. Because, like, right now, it's just. This is an island that has one sugar plantation. Whereas, right now, I could spend money in Hispaniola, which has many plantations and make substantially more cash 
So right now they are not being taxed. They are now. Nice 15,000. Let's just put up a coffee plantation. And let's... Do we upgrade that? Yep, Louisiana's become re rebels, so... Let's take this territory. And this is no ours, no Croft. It's going to the frontier and seize territory from the pirates. We're still allied with the Cherokee. So that's a handy way to expand into their territory without directly expanding into their territory. So it gives us a plantation, a farm, and, and two towns ultimately. Let's upgrade the farm and then we've got cotton and tobacco. Cotton makes more money. So let's go for cotton plantations and let's go for a Let's go for a religious building, because right now we're not sp we're not spawning enough missionaries, not as many as I'd like. So we've got some good tech advances, so let's pick you to pick to start to research. Longitudinal watch is pretty good. So sauerkraut though. Reduces upkeep. And allows us to build a naval hospital, so that's pretty a pretty good one to go for. And then Charlotte can build, can research. Uh, government by consent. Oh, I do need to build up my artillery know-how as well. Still fairly weak. And let's build the port. Let's build up the farm. Cool. So the buccaneers can come over here. So the only navy I have is down here in Demerara. But I don't think I want to move them. Let's get my own native bows. See lots of farms, naval boards have been built. See, these sorts of upgrades are just going to pay some of your dividends back in future. Um, but looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time with the continuing adventures of the 13 colonies. Cheers, guys. Yeah.